Well, hello, hello, my most beautiful and glamorous besties. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Well, in today's video, I'm going to do another set of press on nails. And this time, I am going to do a set of blue butterfly um, spring nails. And these are some of the products that I plan on using, which is this beautiful sky blue that we got from our uh, your nail lab box this month. And I want to use this um, ink that I got in one of my Enel Couture mystery boxes. And I also want to use um, another gel polish from Enel Couture, which is also this blue. It's um, 152. It's a beautiful blue with glitter. I plan on using these two sets of stickers which are um, these rhinestone stickers and these butterflies and I also want to use this beautiful glue mixture glitter that I also got from Amazon and um, well let's get started we're going to do um, four of the press-ons with the sky blue and the ring finger I'm gonna use the Enel Couture blue so always remember besties do a very thin coat of your gel polish make sure you lay it on very very flat not bumpy or lumpy because it will cure that way and it will look awful if you do too much of a thick coat it would also wrinkle up or bubble up and that's not what we want we want a beautiful press on nail and we don't want it to look all wrinkly I will be doing two coats of this beautiful blue and I will cure each coat for 60 seconds in the UV lamp. This beautiful gel polish from Inel Couture is very beautiful. It does have a lot of glitter in it and it's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. So here they are besties once they have been cured and I've already did two coats and this is how they came out. They're so beautiful and now I want to try out this beautiful blue ink and um, at first I was kind of scared besties because I've never used one. Um, I've always done my marbling with gel polishes and I wasn't really sure if it was even going to come out because of the blue and it did so here I am. I'm going to dab it, you know, everywhere I can. Try to make a beautiful design with it. So here I am, I'm going to use uh, a poly gel brush and some alcohol just to like play with it, you know, make it look a little bit more marble color, more just to play around with it, move it around a little bit.
this color is just so amazing i'm gonna have to go back to the website and order the rest of his colors they are so pretty i have never done a marble with a ink color i remember when the, um, the sweet craving came out i don't know if it was sweet cravings or sweet creations with um Macar. i wanted to order their inks but they had sold out completely and i wasn't able to order it So once I am done with this nail species, I am going to cure for 60 seconds in the UV lab. So here they are besties. Um, I kind of put the camera a little bit higher because I kept bumping into it. But here is this beautiful, amazing glitter that I got off a kit on Amazon. And it is a blue glitter and it does have like silver chunky glitter in it also. So what I'm going to do while it's still sticky, I'm just going to pat some of these um, glitters and with my little poly gel brush. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to pat it down with my finger just so that it'll be nice and flat before I top coat it. So I'm going to top coat this just to seal in all those glitters and I will be curing it also for 60 seconds. So with the thumb and the pinky, I am going to put these beautiful butterflies and I always like to put a very thin layer of this foil glue because with the foil glue, the stickers will not lift up, they will not come off or anything because I've always had that problem in the past with stickers lifting up. Even if, even if you top coat them, they would always lift up or start popping up. So I'm going to put these beautiful butterflies that I also got in my um, March box with the collaboration with Christina Couture and I'm gonna also put these rhinestone stickers and I kind of wish I started with the rhinestone stickers but um it comes out well anyways towards the end and I will show you they're very delicate so um they were very very easy to tear so I was really trying hard not to tear them up but um yeah they're beautiful and I wish I ordered more from Shein which I'm probably gonna do very soon order another Shein haul and I'm probably gonna put these also in the cart because they're very they're very nice and they're very beautiful easy to work with
so this is how they came out with these the thumb and the pinky um i already top coated them just to seal in all those stickers and now i am going to work on the ring finger and um yeah so what i'm gonna do on the ring finger i am going to put this beautiful gold butterfly charm that i got off the of shape i always have my little handy dandy flashlight ready just to cure that in place and for the rest of the nails besties my daughter was telling me um you know what was trending on ig or tiktok or whatever and she was telling me that right now what was trending were the 3d art or the the um rhinestones that look like water drops so i'm like well i can do that so i'm gonna pull out my little rhinestones that i got off of shan and i'm gonna try to make like little water drops with these clear rhinestones that i have You know about these clear rhinestones i couldn't tell which was the bottom or which one was the top so i was having a little hard time with that So once I have all the rhinestones in place, I will give them a little flash cure with my handy dandy flashlight. And I'm going to give a very, um, not thick, but a very good top coat on the nail. So besties, here I am cleaning up, trying to put everything up, waiting for the ring nail to come out of the UV lamp. Um, thinking I was done, but I really was not satisfied, besties. So what I did, I got that Taylor turquoise and I put a very thin layer of it and it looked a little better. But yes, besties, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, here I am showing you that I got the Taylor Turquoise from a cart, which is a very little chunky glitter gel polish. And I added it to the nail because I was not satisfied with the nail. I didn't think it was enough. The glitter from the gel polish didn't come through anymore. So now here it is, besties, done. Here's the finished product. Um, you're probably saying that it's not much of a difference, but it's much better now. So besties, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this nail set. I really love them. Everybody's doing butterfly nails, either pink or purple. And I said to myself, well, I'm going to do a blue set. So yeah, besties, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. You know, share my video. Leave me a comment. I love reading those. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget. Stay glamorous.